Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about self-love and self-care. So a couple things I wanted to say about this to begin with is that <clears throat> self-care and self-love does not always have to be, um, you know, bath bombs and face masks and <sighs> painting your toes and nails and doing physical beauty stuff for self-love. Sometimes self-love and self-care is sleeping all day to catch up on sleep. Um, sometimes it's not answering text messages. Sometimes it's not always pretty. Sometimes self-care and self-love is the opposite of what people think self-love and self-care should be. So for example, you know, on Sundays, I do like, I try to do like a self-love Sunday type theme to my day. I normally have a routine on Sundays where I get up, I make a cup of coffee, I grab my passion planner and my content planner, and I plan out my week, my to-do list, things I need to do, clean, pay bills, anything that's due that week. I like to write it all down. I like to start my Sunday off knowing what my week is going to look like. That just helps me mentally prepare for what I have to do. Um... So I like to start, like I said, I like to start my Sunday off by doing that. Um, and then Sundays I sometimes, you know, like to clean or get things organized, get things done. So then my Monday starts and it is, my week, my week starts, my work week starts, and I don't feel like I have a million things to do at home because then I can get really anxious. But sometimes that is not how self-love or self-care goes for me sometimes it's me watching netflix all day sometimes it's me <clears throat> not answering text messages it's me just being by myself and sometimes it's just being able to take a shower um when you have anxiety or depression things like that <clears throat> sometimes it's really hard to take care of yourself and you get kind of stuck in a rut and and that is why <clears throat> that is why i wanted to make this video because Self-love sometimes is just waking up and doing what you can to get through that day. It's not always pretty. It's not always, like I said, bath bombs and face masks and lotion and whatever else that people like to do. Although I'm not knocking those things down because I do those things and I think those things are nice also because that's a different way that you're taking care of yourself. That is also a good idea. But I'm just trying to say that Sometimes it's lighting a candle and being in the dark and listening to music or um, being on your phone all day. There's so many different things that sometimes you need to do in order to take care of yourself, to love, not love yourself, but to, like I said, to take care of yourself and to get back to where you can you know, clean your house, um, regularly take care of yourself and, you know, get to a place where you want to do bath bombs and face masks and whatever else that is your self-love thing to do. Um, sometimes it's going to the gym and just doing cardio. Sometimes it's avoiding the gym. There's so many different things that self-love and self-care involve. And I feel like if you go on Instagram and you go to like hashtag self-love or hashtag self-care, things like that. You can get swept up in, you know, seeing all the glamour and glitz of, you know, what a lot of people like to do for themselves. But just remember that it is okay if your self-love and self-care is basic things that some people just do daily, but they're hard for you to do. And that is completely okay. And I, I'm, I wanted to make this video because this describes my Saturday. Saturday, I I had a bunch of things I got invited to or could do, which never happens, by the way. I'm not trying to be like, I'm so popular. But I, there was a couple things that I could have done, and all I wanted to do was stay at home and watch Netflix. I just wanted to be at home and not do anything. I didn't want to get ready. I didn't want to put makeup on. And not that I needed to do those things to go to these places, but I just didn't want to do anything besides be at home with myself and my animals. I just didn't want to do anything, which I was feeling guilty about and I I was worried that people were going to be upset with me or mad at me um, for not going and doing these things, but it was just something that I needed to do. I just needed a night off, a Saturday night off for myself to do whatever I wanted to do. And 
I was feeling guilty and my point is is that you don't have to feel guilty just because it's Friday night or Saturday night does not mean that you need to go out and party or go and hang out with friends it is okay to be by yourself have pizza have a glass of wine to yourself do whatever it is that you need to do and you don't need to feel guilty about it I feel like now like the more the years go on the more it, people are starting to accept that like cliche things don't need to be cliche and I'm loving it I'm loving the way like things are transitioning and maybe it's not even that things are transitioning maybe that I'm just transitioning and my thought process is transitioning but my point is is that do whatever you need to do to take care of yourself and if people are pissed about it or people are judge you for it it doesn't matter because at the end of the day you matter if you're happy if you're taking care of yourself that is all that you need to know and it doesn't matter you don't need to explain yourself to other people that you know I'm having a me day you don't have to explain that to people and it's okay that you don't have to you can just do you and be happy and do whatever floats your boat that day and you know it could be sleeping all day do whatever you need to do to get through and to be content so the point of my video is just to say that it's okay to not be okay it's okay to not want to do everything that everybody else is doing and it's okay if sometimes taking care of yourself is taking a shower and that's all you can do that day it is okay it is okay if your house is dirty and your dishes need to be done but you need a day on the couch it is okay because eventually those things are going to get done it's okay to do whatever you need to do to get through life and life is short but you need also need to love your life and that requires doing whatever you know and think is best for you so that is going to conclude this video if you have any video ideas feel free to leave them down below in the comment section and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe if you have not yet thank you guys for watching bye <gasps> are you the cutest little pumpkin pie i ever did see yeah did your bark box come today <gasps> you love your bark box can you sit down no i know can you sit oh. sit shake can you lay down what a good girl okay okay that is for real going to conclude this video like i said if you have any questions feel free to get a hold of me and don't forget to Add me on Instagram if you had not. I will leave my handle right here somewhere on this screen. Thank you guys.